hello guys welcome back to coding cafe so in this tutorial we will create this login.php file so we will just remove this message not message the comment signs we will just remove this and now we will save this and now we will create a new file and we will save this file in the social network folder and we will name this as log in dot php add a g over here so now it's log in dot php and click save so it is our log in dot php file so now we will open up and and php tags and over here we will start our session session minus underscore s t a r t start okay what is just happening so now after the session start we will just include the connection.php file so it's in so the connection.php file is in the includes folder so includes connection.php and after this we will add an if condition so if I set dollar underscore post and then the login button is clicked this login button is in in the sign in dot php file over here id equals to no name is equals to login so if that button is clicked so what we will do we will first take two things the email and then the password so the dollar email variable will be equals to html entities and then my sqli underscore my sqli underscore real underscore escape and then i think it's string and then a brackets and then the dollar connection variable and then dollar underscore post and then the email the email input so now oh just remove this holy brackets and add a semicolon so now we'll get another variable dollar pass and it will be equals to just copy this HTML entities and all of that code and paste it down below and change this to pass. This email and pass is in the sign in.php. Okay, this there is our email and then the pass. Now we will create a variable to select all of the users from the table. So for that, we will create a variable select underscore users or just a user and it will be equals to a query and the query will be select all from the users table where user underscore email this user underscore email is in our database row it will be equals to the dollar email variable and uh, user underscore pass will be equals to dollar pass and uh, and status will be equals to single quotes and then a double quote okay so status will be equals to verified b e r i f i e d and then we will create a variable dollar query and we will 
equal it to the mysqli underscore query and then we will pass the dollar connection variable and then the dollar select underscore user variable and now we will create a variable check underscore user now we will check all of the user and uh, we will type mysql num underscore rows and we will pass a parameter and it will be equals to dollar query and uh, then we will add another if condition and this if condition will be equals to the dollar check underscore user it means if the user email and password is equal equals to any of the user in the database so we will create then we will create a variable session and in this session variable we will take the user underscore email which is equals to the dollar email variable and uh, then we will echo a script and inside this script we will type uh, window dot open and uh, then the home.php we will get this file in the upcoming videos okay so don't worry and then underscore self and uh, if it is not equal to any of the user in the database then we will echo an alert and this echo will be equals to a script and over here we will type alert and uh, single quotes we will just type your email or password is incorrect and for testing purpose we will just create this home.php file just to check if it is it makes the user to log into their account or not so home.php will be saved in the social network folder and over here we will just type or we will open h1 tag and we will type welcome to home and now let's check this out so if we refresh our sign in.php what we got mysql number string on line 30 so we miss and equal sign so it will be equals to now save this and refresh the browser so now the error is gone and if i logged in as my account so if i click login so wow it just worked it just logged me into my account okay or redirect me the to the home.php file so now let's just type uh, incorrect details so if i click on login your email or password is incorrect okay so guys our login and our sign up is now just working so now our sign up and login work is now complete and uh, in the next videos we will just create the profile the user's profile uh, page in our social network so the user can update his uh, profile and discover and see his post and information about him so in the next videos in the next videos or the upcoming videos we will do all of that work so thank you guys for watching and subscribe our channel coding cafe and don't forget to press the bell icon